Hello, beautiful world. Today, since it is still Epilepsy Awareness Month, I shall be talking about some of the struggles of being epileptic. Like, today's focus is on dating. Because, honestly, dating, when you have epilepsy, it can be a real struggle. And yes, we're human too, you know, we can date. Um, the thing is, uh, some of the struggles are when somebody is, um, for one, they have a stigma, like they're not aware that like, you know, epilepsy is, is a condition, it's a, it's a disability. And for some people with epilepsy, they don't have um, as violent seizures, uh, some of their seizures like uh, absence seizures, if they just have absence seizures, then they're pretty much fine. But people like me who have tonic-clonic seizures and absence seizures and pretty much every seizure on the list, um, it can be very um, taxing to, I guess, take care of somebody who has epilepsy and, you know, um, having to, like, pay attention to certain things and, like, having to be aware of that person um, to make sure that they're not having a seizure or if they are, then you have to catch them in time so they don't like fall and hurt themselves. Um, I know my mom, she comes running for pretty much everything that uh, she hears that sounds like it could be me falling uh, or hitting something. Um, because she's my mom, she loves me. And she's, she's an awesome mom. But with dating, you can't really expect someone to really know you as much as your mom knows you. And also, you know, they would have to really love you to, you know, accept that responsibility that, you know, they would have to take care of you. and. Of course, some people have the stigma, like I said, um, that, you know, uh, epilepsy is really bad and it's like, um, it's basically like they have the plague. Um, for some people, they just don't even know what epilepsy is and, you know, um, it, it's... It's, it's stressful at times, and for me personally, I know for a fact, because obviously I experience this, I feel guilty because, you know, I want to have a relationship and I feel guilty for putting this on them. Like, if I'm attracted to somebody and like we get along and you know, it goes well and, and it just, for me, I just feel, like I said, I feel guilty because I feel like I'm putting this big weight on their shoulders and I feel like it's a lot. And I tell people pretty much right as soon as I meet them that I have epilepsy. Um, because, you know, if they want to deal with me or they just want to treat me like I've got the plague, then, you know, at least they'll be nice about it. They'll kind of like... Um, say that they have to do something or whatever and 
you know, or just kind of ignore me uh, afterwards, and uh, it, it's it's not like it's happened to me a few times that like shortly after telling them that I have epilepsy, they kind of you know like oh I have to go and do this and whatever, and then I near I never hear from them again. Um, I've dated a guy that has uh, said while I was in the hospital that, um, that my seizures were too much for him, but since then he has apologized and, you know, he admitted that it was uh, immature for him to do that and that he was um, forget what the word he used but basically he said that he was ignorant of what seizures really were and you know he was uh, worried about that like he he basically felt like it was a lot for him to process so since then, uh, I've forgiven him a while ago, because <laughs> um, he apologized a while ago, quite a while ago. Um, so things like that, you know, it's important not to let it get to you when, especially when somebody tells you straight to the to your face that, you know, they don't want to deal with you because you have epilepsy and that's too much to handle. Um, you know, just don't let it get to you and know that you deserve love no matter who you are and, you know, unless you're like really psycho and kill people, you don't deserve love. But if, if you, if you're not psycho, you don't kill people, then, then you deserve love. Because, you know, love is very important. And I know the friendship that I have with my mom is something that doesn't happen very often. And... You know, to care about somebody like that, you know, I I definitely want to find that and hopefully at some point not feel so guilty about it because I'm still struggling with it, still struggling with the guilt that I feel like because people have other things in their lives. They, I feel like they don't need me to add on other things, to add on more stress into their lives and, and just, you know, be another problem and I think for for me it's just something that I have to learn to accept that it's not my fault it's not their fault and just I guess learn to not feel guilty about it uh, I probably still will but you know it, It's just something I guess I have to work on. Um, some people don't feel guilty about it at all from the beginning. Some people uh, feel guilty about it, but then they get over it pretty quick. Some people, like me, feel guilty about it and are still working on uh, getting rid of that guilt. 
and then some people just feel guilty for the rest of their life and you know, like the guilt just doesn't stop but you know I just I know that I deserve to be loved but you know all these things in my mind telling me that you know it's it's so much to deal with for for other people to deal with that I should just be by myself because it's it's a lot to deal with and I just feel especially because of the medication that I take the Capra and it just because it increases the mood changes and it just it strengthens the depression um, even though I take antidepressants I still have those thoughts in my head that I that I sometimes feel like I don't deserve love and like I said, everybody deserves love, unless they're psychos. Um, and then, just that is... It's, it's a very interesting cycle to go through to, like, be, like, thinking in the back of your mind that you don't deserve love. But then, thinking, why am I thinking this? Because I know I deserve love. And... It, it's a lot to, for people hand, to handle and it's just, it, it's difficult for people to, to even process and like, it's even traumatizing for some people to see a seizure and it's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of worry and you know, people have other things in their lives that they have to worry about and I just, I know I just keep like going on with the cycle and you know I have to work on getting rid of the cycle and just understand that my mind is it's making it hard for me to really enjoy my life sometimes so what I feel for me right now is that I really have to work on myself and you know work on being happy I, I know with the bouts of depression when when they just pop up it's just it's hard to be happy because well it's depression duh but it's just it's just something i know that others with epilepsy deal with this as well and You know, it's important, it's very important actually to talk about it because for one, it's so you know that you're not alone, that other people are feeling this too. And also talking about it for me as well helps to, I guess, vent because this is pretty much me venting. But it's it's important to voice what you're feeling in a way that's not hurting other people. Because I'm young. I have I have a long life ahead of me, hopefully. Uh, I expect a long life ahead of me. But, you know, just some things just bring you down and some things 
things that bring you down are... Sometimes just not... Not something you want in your life. You know? You just kind of feel... Well, me, I'm talking about myself. Kind of feel like, you know, people would be better off, you know, enjoying their lives and not having to deal with your issues, but, you know, it's, it's a struggle between emotions, like, I feel like people would be better off without me, but then I want to be around those people and then I just and I just feel like I'm putting a whole bunch of weight on their shoulders and I but I still you know need that attention and affection and it's just Like I said, it's a struggle. <sighs> yeah. It's pretty much all I have to say right now. About that, at least. It's all I can really think of to say, to be honest. But, remember... I love you guys. Be sure to like that. I love you guys so much. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. And my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Mwah. Mwah.